good evening everyone uh, this week i explained you the poem and uh, which is given in course book that is where the mind is without fear written by rabindranath tagore okay this is a very famous poem and um, uh, about the poet i told you earlier that rabindranath tagore first uh, i'm going to explain you about the poet in this video that rabindranath tagore was born in bengal in 1861 he wrote poems in bangla and in english as well in 1913 tagore was awarded the nobel prize for literature for his collections of song called gitanjali okay so uh, among all these uh, rabindranath tagore ji received the nobel prize for literature also and uh, he composed the uh, our national anthem that is janagana mana you all know and some more thing that the uh, he also started uh, the school in uh, shantiniketan and that is now presently it uh, that small school converted into a big university okay so this poem where the mind is without fear is one of tagore's better known poems and tagore was pat- was a patriot and loved his country and on first reading this poem he the reader may get the idea that uh, tagore is appealing to god to waken his countrymen to clear reason truth and understanding and also acquire knowledge and the uh, second thing is uh, he just uh, appeal of the message to god for our whole universe and i'm i explained you earlier also when i ex- uh, taking your class so right now now uh, what he want to do th- that's a uh, total con- conclusion is that the poet is asking to god to show the people of the world the way to a better life okay students so first i'm going to tell you uh, the poem explanation where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls so from here i am going to explain you that uh, in these lines students the poet starts to imagine that what he would like uh, his country to be like that means he says that no countryman of his should live with fear on his mind at all times instead they should hold their heads up fearlessly and have confidence in themselves and uh, from where we uh, get confidence that is by getting knowledge knowledge should be available to all citizens in other words educational institute uh, should admit students of all races and classes and castes all the various regions of india and their people should be united instead of fighting amongst themselves for supremacy they should fight together against a woman enemy to determine their common fate okay so this is your first 1 2 3 4 5 lines explanation okay now the next 5 uh, lines are where words come out from the death of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habits these five lines explanation i'm going to explain you give you uh, in a very simple way students that in these lines the poet says that in india of his dreams everyone should speak the truth okay no person should lie for his own advantage every man should make an effort to improve himself and keep trying till he re- reaches a stage of self perfection if we are speaking lie students then we didn't have a self perfection because if we are doing the wrong thing then how can i expect the perfection hai na so we don't lie to anyone or for our or his or her advantage we always speaks the truth the other thing is he imagines the reason to be an stream of water through which one can progress easily and without encountering too many obstacles on the other hand he imagines habits to be a deserted the stream of reason seems 
to him to be lost in the sands of habit this means that he is saying that the people of his country blindly believing in their superstitions at present and he would like them to question these beliefs through the application of knowledge okay now the other words are other four lines are where the mind is led forward by these into ever widening thought and action that into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake here the father uh, tells us the god okay it's related to god that last four lines tells you that the poet speaks directly to god and he wants his countrymen to be led by him him here him uh, says it's god okay we are uh, correlating him this the, uh, this father word as a god okay so uh, that they broaden the horizon of both their thoughts and their actions if if they were to do so then india would be transformed into heaven a heaven where all its citizens would be truly free okay so these are this is the explanation of these uh, lines okay so students i think that you all clear i think that you all are clear okay if you if you have any problem by this video if you don't understand the poem well then also you can tell me in your next class okay till then take care yourself and stay at home be positive okay don't go outside and um, learn your chapters well okay and if you have any kind of problem in your uh, any other subject as well as english you can uh, talk to your subject teachers okay okay thank you class